Hello Pisces, it says on my t-shirt it's all good and it is, but I'm recording this on one of the hottest days of the year here in my beloved England um, and I live under the roof so I'm sweating my, my, my hairy ass off at this point in time and it shows. Anyway, it this isn't a beauty contest, it is what it is, um, but here's sort of my apology for looking a bit, uh, you know, sweaty. In any case, <laughs> Pisceans, welcome. You're watching Thomas the Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. And if you want a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, um, that can be done. You just have to go to the uh, description box below and you can find all the information you need to get this done. And if you are a person that kind of goes, mm, I could do with a bit more guidance, um, then my TikTok account is the way, the way to go and the place to go. Because on my TikTok account, I am posting a card a day, every single day. right? So if you want to have sort of daily guidance, go to my TikTok um, and, uh, you know, look at this. In any case, so what we do here, Pisceans, we will look at the overall energy for the months of October 2023. Before we then look at your emotional core, see if there's healing that needs to happen, if there's love coming in, that sort of energy. Before we then lastly uh, look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of October 2023. Are you ready? Let's have a look then. Let's see what the guides got for you when it comes to your overall energy for the month of October 2023. Now, this month may not be the easiest because there's a bit of tension here that is coming from the outside. The reason why I know this is because I'm using astrology cards here um, and they're called Star Codes, Star Codes Astro Oracle by Heather Rowan Robbins. I just have the, 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 the cover here. Anyway, the cards I'm using are astrology cards and a, they show me an aspect called a square. Uh, but it is a semi-square, so it's not quite that bad. But you have a square and the square by default is an energy that denotes tension from the outside. Someone from the outside so from the outside means someone that is not super close to you will very likely be who, uh, whoever is causing some issue here this month. Um, but the issue is absolutely doable for you because the, the card here has the number 54. 5 and 4 is 9. 9 is the number of completion. So the, the guides are saying to you is whatever issues present themselves to you, don't dismiss them. Deal with them. Right, be in your face about it if that needs to happen, and then the other energy here is to stay dignified because you are in your strengths, and you know why? Because truth needs no defense, don't argue. Right, if someone says something to you that you know is not so or not true, you can say that without having to raise your voice. Point I'm getting here is this is more about. In, in the energy that I'm getting it. Remember, it's an, oval, it's, it's an oval energy and it is a general reading, so it may not resonate with all of you. But what I'm getting, it feels more like someone is um, assuming shit about you. That is just not true and it can be infuriating. And the guides are asking you not to let this get to you because the, the, the number on the card uh, of strength and be dignified is the number 13. One in three is four. Four is the number of letting go. So don't go and, and please these people by giving them a ton of energy. Say your piece, right? If you need to reach out to someone that helps you that little, that's also not a bad idea. But overall for Pisceans, and I'm a Pisces myself, it's about how you carry yourself through whatever someone says that makes all the difference. Um, and I'm not... It's just what I'm getting here is, you know, if you if you rip someone's head off just because you can, which is also not very typical Pisces, but if you if you if you if the person knows how to push your buttons or the people from the outside know how to push your buttons, they will push them. And 
you don't want this to become karmic. You are not in the wrong here. It just looks like it because that's what they want. So that's what I'm getting for us Pisceans. And your job is to kind of go like, okay, hold on a little. That is my two cents. That's what happens and truth needs no defense. Okay, not super great uh, for us Pisceans, um, but what can you do? Now we're looking at your emotional core, see if there's healing that needs to happen or whether or not there's love coming in. Um, let's have a look what we got here. Before we do this, let me just tell you that I'm now an executive producer, or contributor rather, executive contributor for a, an online magazine called Brains. Um, it's an amazing magazine about um, supporting one another. So there's, you will find a lot of, of, of stuff in there uh, for, for entrepreneurs and people that, that sort of run their own individual businesses and how they can help each other. And they handpick the people that they ask to contribute. And um, so they handpicked me, uh, apparently uh, because of my spiritual work, and I am writing articles for their mindfulness section in that magazine. So it's all free for you, but I would like you to read this and have a look at it because there are so many other great people in there and you will find the link for the and to the Brains magazine in the description box below. So moving on to your emotional core. It's interesting because we're having a lot of greenish, bluish colors here. Blue is communication, the heart chakra. Green, uh, sorry, the, the, the throat chakra. Green is the heart chakra. These chakras are obviously very much together. And so, again, speak everything you want to say from the heart. When it comes to your emotional core, this is not whether or not there's love coming in. This is about how do you carry yourself in a relationship. Should you not be in a relationship, then your job is to look at yourself. Like, how do I communicate? Right? How do I carry myself? You know, What kind of a person am I? What kind of a version of myself am I? And then make sure you are the best version of yourself. Um, because it makes it easier to then manifest a mirror, if that makes sense. So you have to be at your best in order to experience and manifest the best in relationships. And um, so what is asked of you is to build your confidence, right? So look at yourself in the morning and instead of saying it's all shit, you could do what I do. I wake up in the morning and shout my head off. I go like, I'm awesome. And then it cracks me up, especially because my, just, my cats just look at me then, where's the food, right? So it can be quite humbling. And it's not ego because I'm not saying I'm the best, but I wake up in the morning and shout my head off, I'm awesome. And it cracks me up. The moment my, I'm, I'm, I'm more lighthearted, it's much harder for anyone to take me down, right? So build your confidence. Look at what should I do you do, we do, because again, like that, like I said, I'm a Pisces myself, um, to be more aware uh, in a, a more intimate setting. And then it's important for you to, um, to reflect on, should you be in a relationship, make sure at this point in time, it's a calm experience, right? So if you are in a relationship that is very lively, there's nothing wrong with it, but it has to be calm. Pisces, you are an amazingly sensitive and spiritual sign. So if you have someone who is all over the bloody place, um, you cannot sustain that energy for very long because it does knock you for a loop. Right? So at this point in time, when it comes to your emotional core, which means if there's love coming in, because I'm not getting any healing that needs to happen, this month is probably a good thing, um, make sure you manifest a calm experience, so you're not going for the people that are, that are um, sounds a bit weird, overly out there. So someone who is projecting themselves, almost acting, is just not for you at this point in time. Right? And then um, the energy here in the middle is the, is the energy of turquoise. And um, it is about empathy. So should you be in a relationship and you're now reflecting on it, whatever you need to bring up, in that relationship to redirect it and to you know look at it to make it all work a little better so it means you have to be open and you have to communicate clearly 
you have to be you have to do this with 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 empathy right so watch your words really really important how you speak makes an awful lot of a difference here right that was your um emotional core and now we're looking uh, lastly at opportunities as the presenters have seen you in the months of october 2023 for the very sign of pisces you ready so with regards to opportunities this is going to be a good month um, so there's a, a, a lot of luck on your side here so new opportunities are ready for you and they can come in but you have to bring light-heartedness to the situation so if you are a person that kind of goes like i would like to do more here um, it's pointless to remember how shitty some of the months can be where there's just not that much going on we're in october which is the the, the energy of one because the, the months before that was september september is the energy of nine the number of completions so automatically we're going into kicking ass again um, and that is what also helps you here luck is on your side right so new opportunities will come but in order to manifest them properly and to to allow them to be opportunities where you also feel taken seriously and where you feel appreciated you have to be lighthearted about it what that means is don't chase anything don't think oh that sounds awesome i'm gonna you know send them five cvs doesn't work that way they're not asking you not to send cvs around if that is what you want to do because we're in the energy of proactiveness right progressiveness so of course you will make yourself known but it has to be sort of um knowing that if you are light-hearted and it is easier so what the guides are asking you in a, in a roundabout way is to bring a bit of love into the situation so be understanding if 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 someone says to you like okay i'm going to look at your cv in a week um give them the benefit of a doubt right if they're not the fastest right who knows what's going on in their lives so have a bit of understanding that the world doesn't cater to you the world doesn't revolve just around you Right? sounds a bit harsh but you understand the concept you can be impatient about stuff and it goes bloody nowhere or you can go like well if it's for me it'll not pass me by which has always been the truth but the moment you are manifesting from the point of lacking which means from the point of wanting i want this la, la, that would be awesome which means you you know this could be better therefore you feel something is missing um you're not in receiver mode you just go like yeah whatever whatever is for me will come my way uh, i'm confident here that's all you need to do but you have to remain that positive to make anything work that said there's loads of opportunities coming out and are out and about this month for piscean this is october so you still have to be proactive right so no you can't sit there and hope that stuff falls into your lap universe doesn't work that way either in any case that's all we got thank you so much for watching um, and if you like my work like i said you can buy me a coffee on www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas that's www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas see you all very soon Bye bye